Hi, I'm Exo, and this video will be about how to upgrade your version of Exodus version 5 to version 6. Now this might get complex, so I encourage you to uh, get a pen and paper handy, uh, maybe get Excel get ready, um, maybe, you know, there's going to be a lot of note taking here, a lot of very technical details. Step one is you delete Exodus 5. Step two is you download Exodus 6. Step three is you set up Exodus 6. And then you start it. And that is how you upgrade version 5 to version 6. Seriously though, every single file in version 6 has been modified. Uh, in the past, we could usually start like going from version 3 to version 4. 75% of your files would hash check in the torrent client and you could just pick up from there and download the new 25%. And then from four to five, it was a little lower. I think it was like 60 to 65% would hash check. This time, every single file has changed, which means no files are gonna hash check. Um, not only has the backend been completely rebuilt, all the metadata has been rebuilt every single game file has been unpacked and repacked again we did this for a couple reasons but one of them was um, because the ba1 files that were in there we use them as a well i was using them as a identifier uh, by naming the ba1 file the name of the game whenever i was in a game folder i could look at that file and i knew what game i was working with and then i built my scripts to take advantage of the fact that there was a ba1 file that identified the game by the same name that the zip file and the launch file were now, unfortunately, I had copy pasted that BA1 file when I first started the project over and over and over again, just changing the name of the file. And the file I copy and pasted happened to be a very small batch file for a test I was running to launch Loom in Scum VM. So thousands of DOS games had a BA1 file in them that um, was a Loom batch file. And so people would periodically every few months i'd get a bug report or a message saying hey uh this file seems to be broken or this file it shouldn't be there um we went and stripped all the ba1 files out of all of the games we put in a clean identifier that has no text in it has a dot exo extension and now we're using that for uh, the script procedure that reads the game file names apart from that which did touch every single game we also processed over 800 bug reports since version 5 released that's over 800 games that were opened and had major modifications or changes done to them to increase their speed to make them run smoother to fix missing files to add corrupted images now apart from those bugs we also went through and added floppy images to every game we could find them for we added uh, new clean cd images whenever we could find those one of our projects was going through and identifying games that had CD soundtracks, but those CD soundtracks had been left out of the d image dumps that were floating around online. The short of it is we changed everything. And so, unfortunately, there is no upgrade path from version 5 to version 6. Um, version 6 does support merging with other EXO projects. It's very simple. Uh, I will have another video on the merge process rather than try to explain it here. Uh, that could lead towards uh, confusion. But I've had a lot of people asking, what can they do to prep their version 5 for the upgrade? What can they do to get their files ready, clean things up? And unfortunately, there just isn't anything that can be done. So version 6 will be a full download from scratch. Uh, it'll be pretty well seated. I'll have all my staff seating it before we go live when the time comes. So there should be you know, a good dozen seaters or so when we first go on there. Um, we have been sharing it among ourselves for the past few weeks, doing install tests and just repeatedly installing it over and over and over to catch any issue in the install process that might come up. The installer is fairly complex at this point for a batch file, and we have to take into account a lot of variables. I should probably do a whole video just on the installer, actually, so I think I will. Thanks for watching the video on merging or update, updating version 5 to version 6, and um, I sincerely apologize that we don't have an upgrade path, but version 6 is better for it. It was a, a, a nagging issue that had been building up over time to get everything uniform, 
and renamed properly and now it finally is all 100% copacetic. Everything is lined up and named exactly like it should be. And it does come at the cost of having to redownload things, but at least going forward, everything has been normalized from a game name uh, and normalization perspective in terms of the same game name on the zip file, on the batch files, in the front end, and in the EXO identification file inside the game. Thanks.